So when we last convened in San Diego, I came away with a catchphrase that Abraham said that I really like. And the catchphrase is, you are as God as it gets. (laughs) If that's the case, when we ask and it is given, to whom are we talking? Oh, such a good question. Do you want to take a stab at defining what you think God is before we do? It would be helpful to discussion. I think God is the infinite invisible. So let's talk about focus. Could be anybody. Let's talk about the masses of humans. And let's talk about focus generating vibration and vibration radiating and law of attraction gathering the cooperative components. And so all that has been desired is that which is God. Humans have such a misunderstanding. Humans want what they think God is to do for their book what this nice man wanted us to do. (laughs) Be the deliverer of what I'm asking for. Where what God is is the amassed becoming of what has been focused into joyous loving beingness in the early days of these conversations people would say well there's good and there's evil and we would say that's like looking for the absence of light that's like thinking that the absence of light has a source like an inky misty source that is covering up the light when what's really going on is that there is a light or a disallowance of it but there is not a source of absence of light and so that's what's going on there's just this source of goodness and of love and of well-being that extends from generation to generation to generation generation to generation in terms of physical conversation it's this never ending becoming you've heard us say we know because you've listened to us endlessly that when someone human makes their transition into non-physical they leave behind all of their doubt and fear because any resistant thought that they picked up along their way and practiced is not part of who they are as they reemerge into non-physical because as they reemerge back into non-physical the law of attraction and those who are focused there does not summon from this individual those worrisome parts you heard us say something like that just a few minutes ago that when you are standing and looking to the universe or to the world or to any individual person or subject or idea there are those things that you are a match to in terms of your source energy and things that you are not so that which you want to call God and we're fine with that as long as we're clarifying that God energy is such pure positive love energy and is what's focused in whatever you want to call this place that is non-physical and the law of attraction is responding to that focus therefore there's this sifting process that takes place when the consciousness that is you the human reemerges into non-physical anything that is not love does not get gathered up in the same way that when you sit at a table if you're really focused upon love you don't get all the petty gossip from the group either talk about a delicious reemergence into non-physical and it is from that pure energy standpoint point of view that everyone reemerges back into the physical from that place of pure positive energy really you pick up all this negative stuff along your physical trail and you want to say why why is there any negative stuff why can't everything that is in the physical be an exact replica of the pure positive energy and love that is non-physical and we say because the variety is what helps you as the genius creator in this physical body to explore and to come to your new conclusions this conversation has never been and to all of the universe this is a first time conversation that one was too what's happening on your planet 
has never been before unto all of the universe. The combinations of focusers and thinkers and feelers and wanters and believers, it has never been like this before. It is uniquely wonderful. And out of the mix of it, all kinds of rockets of desires are being launched. It's interesting, on any side of any argument, you are at one with each other when you launch your rockets of desires because they are about loving and more and longevity and self-interest and perpetuation of that which you believe to be good oh you argue about what you think is good but 100% of you wants what's good and so that's what God is God is the synthesized culmination of every focused thought it's this pure positive energy resonance with life and well-being and more and continuation if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next